intervening with medications. It's imperative to remember some standard yet important points. Always use appropriate body substance isolation precautions, or BSI. Medications should be administered in compliance with your local protocols and medical direction. A comprehensive assessment must be performed on all patients to determine the indication for the medication, contraindications, the appropriate dose for the patient as well as the expected outcome or response to the medication itself. Before administering any medication, always be certain you have the right patient, the right medication, the right dose, the right time, the right route, and we need to be prepared to document the right information. Prior to administration, inspect the medication packaging to ensure it contains the correct medication, the correct dose, that your medication has not expired or has not been contaminated in any manner. If you find packaging that is not intact, that may indicate a loss of sterility of the medication itself and it should be discarded. Select the nebulizer delivery method based on the patient's ability to hold the device and coordinate inhalation and breathing technique. Here we are demonstrating using the T-fitting device. You can pre-assemble the medication cup by screwing the top and bottom sections together. Now take the T-piece fitting, place it on top, and connect the corrugated tubing to one side and the mouthpiece to the other side. Now the top of the medication cup can be unscrewed or the T-piece fitting removed. Double check the medication expiration date and apply the appropriate medication and dose into the medication cup. Reassemble the top of the medication cup by threading the top on snugly. Attach the oxygen tubing to the inlet port of the medication cup. Attach the other end of the oxygen tubing to a source capable of delivering 6 to 8 liters per minute of oxygen flow. Turn the oxygen and adjust the flow for best results. If there's a problem and you don't see mist coming from both ends of the nebulizer, Recheck all your connections and flow rate. Explain the procedure to the patient. Have them seal their lips around the mouthpiece of the handheld nebulizer and take slow breaths and inhale as deep as possible. Encourage the patient to hold their breath as long as they are comfortably able to and the mist should disappear with each breath. As the medication is administered and the level drops in the medication cup, the cup may need to be tapped to deliver all of the medication during the breathing treatment. Finally, reassess the patient and provide supplemental oxygen. There are some general important points to remember when administering medications which need to be injected. Maintain sterility of needles and medications for injections. Utilize safety engineered devices to minimize risk of needle sticks. Always ensure that all sharps are properly disposed of in a timely manner in an approved sharps container. Route of administration and size of the patient are used to determine the appropriate size needle. Pre-filled systems may have an air bubble that needs to be purged prior to medication administration. When drawing up medication from a vial or ampule, draw up a little extra volume that can be wasted when purging air bubbles. Assure the proposed site for injection is free of inflammation, swelling, infection, and any skin lesions. Never recap used needles. 
If blood is present when aspirating, withdraw the needle and discard the medication. Start over with a new medication and a new site. When administering medications using a syringe and vial system, inspect the medication to verify the right medication, the right dose, the right expiration date, the right route, and the right patient. Select an appropriate size syringe for the medication to be delivered. Remove the protective flip-off cap from the top of the vial and wipe the rubber stopper with an alcohol prep or another suitable antiseptic swab. If at any time the rubber stopper becomes contaminated, you will have to repeat this procedure. Pierce the center of the medication vial stopper with the needle on the syringe of the diluting solution and inject the diluting solution into the vial. Remove the needle and syringe from the vial and place it in the sharps container. Now reconstitute the drug by gently rolling the vial to assure that the medication dissolves. It should become a clear solution. Continue with the drawing up of the medication using a new needle and syringe repeating the same steps. First, draw up the same volume of air as the volume to be withdrawn. Pierce the center of the vial stopper with the needle on the syringe and inject the air. Holding the vial upside down in one hand, be careful to keep the other end of the needle within the fluid level of the vial. Also, consider the exposed portion of the needle sterile so it should not be touched. Pull back gently on the plunger to draw the medication or diluting solution into the syringe. Withdraw the needle and syringe from the vial, utilizing the safety feature. Remove and place the sharps in a sharps container. Depending on the route of administration, select the appropriate size safety engineer needle. With the needle pointed upward, gently tap the syringe to move any air bubbles to the top. Gently depress the plunger of the syringe until air is expelled and only the desired amount of medication remains in the syringe. The medication is now ready for administration. Inspect the medication to verify the right medication, the right dose, the right expiration date, the right route and the right patient. Select an appropriate size syringe for the medication to be delivered. ...of appropriate size and length to withdraw the medication and attach to the syringe. Hold the ampule upright and gently flick it to move any medication trapped in the head of the ampule to the base. Wipe the areas between the head and the base of the ampule with an alcohol prep or other suitable antiseptic swab. Once the medication is removed from the head of the ampule, use a commercially available device or gauze square to grasp the head of the ampule and break the head from the base. Hold the ampule at arm's length and break by snapping the top towards you. This will cause any glass shards to be directed away rather than towards you when the ampule breaks. If the ampule fails to break cleanly and glass shards can be observed, Dispose of the ampule and replace with another unit. Now prepare your filter needle and syringe in order to withdraw medication for administration.
Invert the ampule while inserting the filter needle and withdraw the medication. After removing the medication, discard any remaining medication and properly dispose of both portions of the ampule in the sharps container. Remove the filter needle and properly dispose of in a sharps container. Replace the filter needle with an appropriate size safety engineer needle for a subcutaneous or intramuscular injection. With the needle pointing upward, gently tap the syringe to move any air bubbles to the top of the syringe. Then gently depress the plunger of the syringe until air is expelled and only the desired amount of medication remains in the syringe. The medication is now ready for administration. When administering medications with an auto-injector, remember to recheck the medication for the patient's rights. Select an injection site, right or left vastus lateralis, commonly called the lateral thigh. Cleanse the injection site with an alcohol prep or other suitable antiseptic swab in an outward circular motion for about two inches. Allow the swab spot to dry for approximately 30 seconds. Grasp the auto-injector by wrapping your fist around the unit barrel. Never place your thumb or finger over the ends of the auto-injector. Place the needle end of the auto-injector against the prepared site on the lateral thigh at a 90 degree angle and remove the protective safety cap. Stabilize the patient's leg to prevent them from pulling away and apply gentle pressure against the leg with the auto-injector until it clicks. Hold in place for 10 seconds before removing the auto-injector in order that all the medication can be delivered. Properly dispose of the auto-injector in an appropriate sharps container and apply a bandage over the injection site. When intervening with an intramuscular injection, always make sure to recheck the medication for the patient rights. Select an injection site, either the deltoid or vastus lateralis, due to accessibility. Cleanse the injection site with an alcohol prep or another suitable antiseptic swab in an outward circular motion for about 2 inches. Allow the swab spot to dry for approximately 30 seconds for bacteria to be killed and to minimize discomfort of the injection. Hold the syringe in your dominant hand and remove the needle cover. Stabilize the injection site with your non-dominant hand using either the pinch technique or the stretch technique. Tell the patient they will feel a poke and holding the syringe like a dart, quickly but not forcefully insert the needle at a 90 degree angle until the proper depth is reached. Release the skin while continuing to hold the syringe in place with the dominant hand. Grasp the plunger and pull back to aspirate slightly and wait 5 seconds. If no blood aspirates into the syringe, proceed with the injection. Depress the plunger to administer the injection at a rate of about 10 seconds per milliliter. A slow, steady injection rate allows the muscle to distend gradually and accept the medication under minimal pressure. Once the medication has been administered, withdraw the needle using the appropriate safety features and properly dispose of the syringe and needle assembly in an appropriate sharps container. Cover the injection site with an alcohol or gauze pad and apply gentle pressure to the area to help reduce the pain and improve absorption. Apply a bandage over the injection site. When administering a subcutaneous injection, always cleanse the injection site with an alcohol prep or other suitable antiseptic swab. Allow the swab spot to dry for approximately 30 seconds. Hold the syringe in your dominant hand and remove the needle cover. Stabilize the injection site with your non-dominant hand using the pinch technique. Quickly, but not forcefully, insert the needle into the injection site at a 45 degree angle. Release the skin while continuing to hold the syringe in place. Pull back and aspirate slightly on the plunger and wait 5 seconds. If no blood aspirates into the syringe, proceed with the injection.
Properly dispose of the needle and syringe assembly in an approved sharps container. Cover the injection site with an alcohol or gauze pad and apply gentle pressure to the area to help reduce the pain and improve absorption.